Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at a gigantic air CPU cooler. This is the Cryorg R1 Ultimate, which currently costs around 85 to 90 US dollars, which admittedly isn't very cheap, but this is in no way a standard CPU cooler. This could indeed be a cooler that could compete with the massive cooler monsters such as Noctuous NHD15 and Fantex PHTC14PE. A big thank you to Cryorg for sending me this cooler and making this review possible. Right away I have to give Cryorg props for the excellent and clever packaging. Inside a box is the CPU cooler with the fans pre-attached already, the installation guide with an alcohol pad to clean the thermal paste off your CPU, and there's a yellow note here to remind you how to correctly screw in the spring screws. A nice tube of thermal paste is also included, a PWM Y cable for the fans, all the screws you'd need for the installation, of course with all the needed brackets and back plates, and Cryorg also included a nice long angled screwdriver, some rubber pads to reduce vibration and last but not least for fan clips. First of all, at least in my opinion, this CPU cooler looks really really good in terms of aesthetics. Black as you might know is my favorite color and that the heatsink fins actually are black makes this cooler stand out to me even more, although I am aware that there are a good amount of black CPU coolers out there as well by Be Quiet, Fantex and so on. But this Cryorg R1 Ultimate definitely looks fresh in terms of the design. The dimensions of the cooler with the fans are the following. 142.4mm length, 140 width and 168.3mm height. This indeed is a very tall CPU cooler, so make sure it fits in your case before buying it. With the fans attached to the heatsink, the cooler weighs 1282 grams, quite a heavy cooler. As you may have noticed, the fans come pre-attached to this cooler already. So you're basically ready to go right out of the box. Cryorg includes the angled screwdriver to reach down there to the spring screws so you don't have to remove the fans to mount the cooler into your system. That's all good, but practically it's a bit hard as you can see since the screw and the screwdriver don't go together. But no worries, just pull away the two towers a little bit from each other and it fits. A very good idea here. If you wish, you could also attach another fan to the heatsink. Fan clips and rubber pads are included. Taking off the fans can be a bit challenging since you require a good amount of power to do so because of the rubber pads, but at least there's no vibration noise at all. Perfect. Pre-attached are two of Cryorx XF140 140mm fans with an RPM of 700 to 1300. The fans therefore shouldn't be allowed at all, according to Cryorg with just 19 to 23 decibels. These aren't cheap fans by the way, the quality is pretty good. The fans come with 4 pin connectors and the cables are nylon braided. The R1 Ultimate comes with a nickel plated copper base and a total of 7 6mm thick heat pipes. That's quite impressive. The heat pipes also are shaped a bit differently than on older coolers. More and more manufacturers do that to avoid the classic memory dilemma. Of course the CPU cooler is compatible with pretty much all the important sockets. Intel's LGA 2011, 1366, 1150, 1155, 1156, 775, AMD's AM3 Plus and AM3, AM2 Plus and AM2, FM2 Plus and FM2, as well as FM1. Alright, mounting this Cryorg R1 Ultimate into my system pretty much went hassle free and much much quicker than with other air CPU coolers. Due to the fact that I don't have to remove the fans and reattach them, the installation procedure didn't take me long at all. But now let's do some stress testing on my hot running overclocked Intel i7-4770K. Wow, as you saw yourself, the Cryorg R1 Ultimate has very good cooling performance to offer. I'm really impressed and you know, I'm more the closed loop water cooling guy. The installation is very simple and as I've said before, doesn't take long at all. And the brackets and back plates are out of metal. 
So even though this cooler costs about $85 to $90, you pretty much get what you pay for. Yeah sure, there certainly are better ones out there in terms of raw price performance ratio, but if you're looking for a cooler that's still cheaper than a decent closed loop water cooler, this Cryorg R1 Ultimate might be a good choice for you. Overall I'm also very pleased in terms of the aesthetics. The only real drawback here is the fact that this cooler unfortunately interferes with high profile memory. Low profile should be fine though. I'd definitely recommend this Cryorg R1 Ultimate CPU cooler if you're looking for a high performance air CPU cooler. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.